Hello friends and welcome back to the farmhouse table. It is Sunday, the day of preparation for the week ahead. School has already started. I get out breakfast the night before, outfits, making sure computers are charged and all that stuff. So I thought, let's make some zucchini bread. <laughs> we have a um, garden that we grow zucchini and cucumbers in, and I just have a plethora of zucchini. So we're gonna do that today. Please excuse my looks. I had an allergic reaction to new medication. Yeah, rashes on your face. It's not so much fun. Anyway, so let's do this. Here are the ingredients for the zucchini bread. We have baking soda, vanilla, flour, sugar, salt. I have canola oil. You could use vegetable oil or whatever you like to use. Some baking powder, cinnamon, three eggs, and of course your zucchini. Y'all, <laughs> this is a regular size zucchini make you want to blush. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I did was spray nonstick spray on two regular size loaf pans, and I preheated my oven on 325. I have my bowl. The first thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients to the bowl. So I'm going to grab my flour, we need three cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and then I'm going to need a teaspoon. Are y'all proud of me for measuring? <laughs> I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. There we are. I know you're not supposed to measure over your mixing bowl. You know what, we're very casual here on the farm. And then a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking powder. And this can is almost empty. There we go. And then we also need a tablespoon of cinnamon. Oh, I love cinnamon. Here we go. One tablespoon of cinnamon. There we are. I know you're not supposed to measure like this every bowl, but I feel like if ingredients jump in there, it's because it was supposed to happen. And I probably am adding a little extra. That's okay. One tablespoon of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna grab my whisk. Let me find my whisk. Here it is. And I'm just gonna whisk these dry ingredients together. If you wanted to, you can sift. Sift away. I'm not much of a sifter. Okay. This looks good. Now I'm gonna grab my other bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and grate my zucchini. I got this cute little grater from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, you're gonna use this side if you have a grater like this. So I'm gonna get that done. All right, so I have my two cups of grated zucchini, and then I'm going to add my sugar, two and a half cups of sugar. When you think, wow, that sounds like a lot of sugar, just think, oh, but it's two loaves. <laughs> Make you feel better. There's one. You know, I could pre-measure all this, but I figured I'd just do it with y'all. Two. Then we need a half. Good. All right, then our next ingredient is one cup of, I'm using canola oil, but if you like vegetable oil or something else, you do you. Okay, there's that oil. 
I'm gonna put the lid on so I don't knock it over and then, oh, that would be horrible. All right, then we need three eggs. I just broke that on the stove. Holy smokes. That is a blooper. That is a blooper. Great. All right. So, yeah. Um, I worked out this morning and lifted weights, so I think that I went a little too, um, I don't know, Sylvester Stallone on that egg, and I just, like, broke it on the stove. That's fun. We'll clean that up in a minute. All right. Time to wash my hands. All right, and then we are going to add our vanilla. Here it is. I need three teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, ooh, 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 ooh. three. That was the rest of the bottle. It's fine. It's all good. Okay. Now, I believe I've added everything in. So, what we are going to do is add our dry ingredients that we mix together to our wet ingredients. All right. So, I like to do this in like, depending on what I'm doing, in thirds or fourths just so it's mixed well. I'm gonna put the lid on the sugar just so we don't get any batter <laughs> in our sugar. All right, so I'm gonna add like a third of this and grab my mixer and mix. I'm gonna grab my rubber scraper and scrape the sides. Give it one last mix. Wow, we just really shot some batter around there. That's okay. I will clean it up. Okay, let me grab my loaf pan. Now, yes, these are old loaf pans. They're tried and true, or vintage, or rustic, whatever makes it sound better. Okay, great. So, I have my batter. I'm gonna try to do, you know, half an each, but you know, we do our best, right? And I say, oop, that looks good. Here we go. Okay, let's see. And I think I'll put, that looks pretty even, so I'll put half of what's left in this one about half <laughs> and then go to this one all right so these now everybody's ovens different okay even your 325 is different than mine it depends on the humidity the altitude the longitude the latitude the attitude all the tudes but this should cook in the oven. I remember it's at 325 for about 50 to 55 minutes. I like to tap the pan and uh, get the air bubbles out. All right, these are going into the oven for 50 to 55 minutes. I'll just test with a, almost said a Q-tip. That's not right, a toothpick. 
Okay. All right. The zucchini bread just came out of the oven. So it was on 325 and I put it in there for 50 minutes. The toothpick that I inserted came out clean. So now I'm going to put the timer on for 20 minutes and then I will pop them hopefully out of the pans. <laughs> All right. So we successfully popped those two loaves of zucchini bread out of their pans and Ellie is enjoying her life right now. <laughs> good mm -hmm. that really it didn't take much time at all so I hope you give this recipe a try if you do let me know if you make your zucchini bread a different way um, let me know thank you so much for watching today please give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> all right you all have a wonderful night bye bye